Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Caden's Kitchen. My name is the Unbreakable Caden LaDuke. And on this episode, uh, it's going to be a bit shorter. It's going to be uh, an easier recipe than what's happened recently. It's something, you can, it's something that you can throw together really quick. But it is also something that is very flavorful. It is honey garlic roasted chicken. You can do it all in a pan. Um, when you're uh, when you're serving it, you could serve it with a, with multiple different sides. You could do uh, rice like I did. You could do vegetables. You can do a salad. You can serve it on its own with uh, some other sides like a, like a pasta or um, or any, anything really. Um, like I said, it's very easy. Uh, the, the ingredients list is is very small, and it's ingredients that I think a lot of people have in their house all the time anyway. It's literally basically chicken, soy sauce, um, vinegar honey, salt, pepper, and garlic. And I might be forgetting something, but it'll be in the video if there is. But um, yeah, uh, hope everybody's having a good night. Hopefully you're watching the NFL draft maybe. Um, I haven't, um, it's about to start as of, uh, as of right now, but let's pray for the Giants to get Chase Young, huh? huh? But uh, if not, hopefully they get, they get somebody good in the first round. But regardless, Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for all the continued support from everyone all around. And I uh, hope you enjoy it, like I said. And let's get to it. So what you're going to need for this very simple and concise recipe is three chicken breasts, pounded thin and cut into sixths. We're going to need black pepper, our old friend sea salt, soy sauce, about a tablespoon, six cloves of garlic, it's going to be crushed, not minced. One fourth cup of water, one third cup of honey, and it's going to be two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So heat some olive oil up in your skillet on about medium heat, maybe a little bit higher. And we are going to season the chicken with salt pepper, heavy on both sides. And we're going to sear the chicken until golden brown. Listen to that sizzle, I love it. Just uh, make sure when, you, uh, when you're uh, dealing with the raw chicken, as always, please... Wash your hands. Uh, I've never had salmonella, but I have heard that it's it's not very fun. We're gonna we're gonna sear this on both sides. Make sure you seasoned it seasoned it pretty well. It's gonna have a lot of flavor. Chicken breast doesn't take a whole lot of time to cook, especially considering it's thin like this. So uh, once we're uh, once we get seared on both sides, we'll start to add other stuff. So once your chicken's nice and golden brown on each side, it's fully cooked and seared, what we're going to do is crush the garlic and then add that to the pan six cloves about. After that, add your quarter cup of water, your one third cup of honey, that's nice right there, get it all out, still trying to get it all out, and there we go. Your tablespoon of soy sauce. And finally, your two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and we're gonna let this start to simmer a little bit, and just cook the sauce down to where the honey's not as sticky, and we're gonna allow that to coat the chicken. So now all we have to do is, we see the sauce is simmering right now, all we have to do is let it reduce down and let it thicken a little bit, and we'll be ready to plate and serve and eat. So as we can see here, our chicken's nicely coated, our sauce is getting thick, so I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit, so it starts to simmer down. And what I'm gonna do here, in order to uh, see if our sauce is ready, is a life hack that uh, you can use yourself. I'm gonna use the back of a spoon test. So what I'm gonna do is dip the spoon in the sauce. Now, if the sauce goes right off the spoon and it's still liquidy, then it's not thick enough. But if it sticks on and you can just kinda see where it, uh, where it glistens and stuff, then you know it's ready. And right there, that sauce is definitely thick enough and it's ready. So let's plate, guys. Delicious. So once your sauce is thick enough and you know it's ready to serve, uh, you can serve this dish over the chicken over, you can do rice like I did. You can do vegetables, you can do a salad. I went with the rice. I think chicken and rice always goes really well together. And here it is, guys, my honey garlic roasted chicken over a bed of rice. This is, uh, I'm, I'm excited for this one. Okay, let's dig right on in and uh, try this dish right here. I'm excited about this. I love Asian type food sweetness with uh, with savory. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm excited about this. Here we go. It's like a sesame chicken kind of. You could have put. You could have done. Uh, you could have done sesame glaze right here with this. Like same sort of thing, really, just with uh, sesame oil and uh, some sesame seeds. 
Mm -hmm. Flavor's there. Flavor's definitely there. I mean, there's a lot of other things you could do with this. Like I said, serve it over a salad, make some more sides for it. I was just trying to throw together a quick, easy recipe for this video. I think the rice over it's good. And it's all ingredients that I think most people have in their house already. It's literally uh, ch the chicken, uh, salt, pepper, soy sauce, cider vinegar, or you could use white distilled vinegar or rice wine vinegar, anything like that. And then just um, sesame, or sorry, um, yeah, soy sauce, and it's really it, garlic. Like, it's a very easy recipe. But it packs a lot of flavor. Yeah. A lot of flavor, it's delicious, honestly. So try this one out, honestly. It it's, doesn't take long, it's really easy, it's really simple ingredients, so just give it, Give it a try, give it a taste, and uh, yeah, I think I think this one's a winner. I think this one's a winner. Is it a winner? My mom says it's a winner. Gluten free too, gluten free, all the way. Um, but thank you guys for watching episode four of Caden's Kitchen. Um, Wrestling with my appetite will be up on Monday. I appreciate once again that I'm very humble and grateful for the continued support. Um, I think my mom is my first guest on one of these shows. I've been trying to get a guest for a while, but my mom has just made a cameo other than my cats. So I'm happy about that. But like I said, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, wash your hands. Don't breathe. Um, be safe. And stay unbreakable, everybody, because we're going to get through this together. So thanks again, guys. Peace.